Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta and this is part two of my guitar lesson series entitled Speed, how to get it and how to use it. Yes, indeed. Part number two. We're gonna continue with alternate picking exercises. Like on the first one, there's a link in the description where you can download the tablatures for these exercises. The first one is again variation of the exercises I showed you on the part one. So this one is it's four notes per string and with each string you start with a different finger. This is still all chromatics. The idea is just to make your hands sync and your left and right hands cooperation clean, accurate and speedy. <laughs> so you'll start on the first fret with your index finger and then the A string you start with your bird finger and then D string you start with your third finger and G string you start with your pinky. So and then you continue again starting on your index and so on. Exercise 7. This is first with one string and then as it goes on we'll add a second string. This example is with B and E strings but you can do this with whatever strings you like. But I suggest starting like I showed you. It goes like this. Exercise 8. This example is with D and G strings, but again you can do this with other pair of strings and maybe some other part of the neck too, maybe even go chromatically up. And it goes like this. Exercise number 9. This is again with B and E strings, but you can do this with other pair of strings too and another part of the neck if you will. And it goes like this. Exercise 10. 
exercise 10. This uses four bottom strings and it's again chromatics. Basically this could be thought as a G pentatonic lick plus adding chromatic passing tones. And again you can do this in A or G and I suggest after you learn this in G in this position you maybe start with A go up to B and so on. Okay, so that was five different alternate picking slash hand coordination exercises. So now we have 10 in total. And again, I suggest using a metronome starting with really slow. Because if you learn things too fast in the beginning, your playing is most likely a bit sloppy. Your brain will learn the sloppiness too. When you learn them cleanly, slowly, without sloppiness, without mistakes, your brain will learn to play them correctly too. And then you can increase the speed. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was informative and this will make you a better player or at least alternate picker. On part number three, we're gonna go into hammer-ons and pull-offs, legato playing to strengthen your left hand fingers muscles or if you're a lefty then your right hands. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more to come.